Hi, we are Tina and Bernie and our Border Terrier Blue and not forgetting our converted Bilingo Buddy. We are the other Windsors. So what's been bugging me this week when I've been not able to sleep in the early hours? That's when I think about things most. I'm sure you guys do that as well. The midges. We're about to set off for Scotland and past experience we've had trouble with midges. We were once in a forest in Oban and honestly we sprayed some fly spray because there were so many of them and they were like an inch deep in bodies all the way around the windows. It was horrendous. So we're just trying to take a precaution. We've already made a midge net of sorts for the opening back hatch window and then I suddenly thought well we like to crack open the windows at the front on a night so that it's not too stuffy because mm -hmm. with two adults and a wee border it can get a little bit stuffy in there overnight and now it's getting warmer as well but are we going to crack those windows open and not be uh, bitten to death by midges so uh, as i say thinking caps on it's taken me the best part of a week thinking what have we got in the garage that we can uh, cobble together something with and what I found in the back was some wind protection mesh. Because we live on the coast, um, we have a terrible problem with wind. <laughs> that sounds not personally, but there is a lot of wind. And so all around the fencing here, we have this wind protection. So I thought it's relatively stable. It's a little bit wobbly, but it might just work. So here's what we've come up with between us. Again, teamwork. And we've cobbled together this little prototype and that's what prototypes are for. They either work or they don't. So uh, carry on watching and see what we came up with. What we've done is cut long strips measured by using the piece of string here um, because the window's curved and we want it to tuck up behind the uh, the wind break, not the wind break, what do you call them? The climb uh, window wind stoppers i don't know i can't remember right off the top of my head right now and then what bernie suggested was that we actually cut down all the way except for the top two and then that allowed us to fold it over and get this curve so that it fits into the window now what we're trying to suss out is if we can spray this black so that it doesn't show um, you can buy it in orange, but I don't oh, think I've ever yeah, seen yeah, it in yeah. black. It's yeah. what road work people use. Yeah. So you're just spraying it with whatever you had in the garage. It's just car, car spray. I got it from Home Bargains. Right. Under two pound a tin, which is really good. Excellent. It'll just make it a bit less um, obvious, won't it? Oh, I love the smell of that. <laughs> I think I better move. It's <laughs> one good coat. It's not one good coat. I think. Like you said, I mean, you could brush any paint on. Yeah, well, I was going to use poster paint until you said you had some spray. Yeah, you could brush. It has to be sprayed. It could be just brushed with any kind of paint you've got to in a bag. No matter what. No. We're doing easier this way. <laughs> We're going to do both sides as well, aren't we? So, uh... Well, I've done the other side. Oh, excellent. I think when it's done the other side, look. Oh, great. Oh, it dries a nice matte colour as well, doesn't it? This is a matte one, yeah. I do yeah. have a gloss one in there as well. But... Excellent. So we'll let them dry and then I'll see how I'm going to put the mesh over. Here's the finished pieces after Bernie's finished spraying them. Uh, they look a bit messy with the tape on and everything, sticking them together in the places where we've had to curve it. But to be honest, once that's covered with the mosquito meshing, or in our case in this country, midges, um, I don't think you're going to notice that. So uh, on to the next stage. So moving on now, I've put a little tablecloth behind because it was difficult to see the black on the black work surface. I've cut a piece of the midge netting fabric that I've got. I use this on the back window and I cut it the length of the piece and I've cut it enough for it to be doubled over like so.
Now bear with me because I'm just working out how I'm going to do this. But I think what I'll do to begin with, to get it taut, I'm going to pull it along and then just pin it. Hopefully not pinning it to the tablecloth underneath. Just so I can get it in the right position. Because I've got an idea of where I'm going but not quite sure yet. Pretty much a learning curve with all of these little jobs. So I'm just going to carry on pinning it all the way down the edge. So after much head scratching, trying to work out how I was going to do these edges, I tried um, double sided tape, but that didn't work. It didn't stick to the mesh very well. And obviously it pulled the paint off that we put on the green mesh. So that wasn't working. So what I ended up doing in the end, as you can see, is just wrapping it in half, trimming it very close to the edge, and then putting on this um, insulation tape. That's pretty good actually because it makes a nice smoothish joint with the window. Still a little bit concerned that there's going to be an edge here and a bit of a gap once these are in the car. But this is very much a prototype and it'll either work or it won't. Hopefully it will. Um, but if it doesn't we can bring it back and then before we go again we can uh, do a little few tweaks to it. So I'll go and put them in the car and you can see how they just push in. Okay, so let's see how these work. So because we've got these wind deflectors on, there is a nice little tight gap up there. So if you just push that in, oh, and we give it a really good shove and push it up, that's it, job's in. That's how they fit. Like I was saying inside, this is pretty much a prototype. And we are obviously concerned that there's a gap here. Put my thinking cap on again and we'll see what we can do. Obviously, uh, short of putting sticky on, which you won't want to do for your, your windows, then that's the way to go. So I've got a pair of those, one for this side and one for the other, and we'll give it a go.